So today I've got a very nice chair to show you guys and to explain my thoughts on it. So this is the Hayworth Zodi chair, um, a very well-built chair, very recognized brand, Hayworth. Not quite as well known as say um, Herman Miller or something, but still really nice chair. So I just want to show you some of the features of this and why for the price point, it's probably one of the better used chairs you can get on the market. So I'm in the UK, these will go for about a hundred pounds um, at the moment. If you wanted something like an Aeron or any chair by Herman Miller, you're looking at probably 200, 300 pound. Um, and these are similar quality chairs. So that's why I want to show you. Steel case as well will be about uh, 200 pound plus. So if you can get one of these used in the UK, they are a really, really good deal. So adjustment wise, you've got a lot of adjustments. First of all, you've got a seat depth adjustment. So this is great for uh, seating you know, if you're shorter, you, you want the, the seat cushion to be just behind your legs. If you're taller, obviously you can get that all the way behind your legs by putting it all the way back. And, and the seat is nice. It's it's fabric, it offers a nice, nice bit of support there. So I'm just gonna put that back to my height. The armrests on the Hayworth are probably one of the best features of it. They are the so-called sort of 4D adjustable armrests. So they go up and down, side to side as well, and tilt back. And as well as that, they go forward and backwards. So you can really find a comfortable position to rest your arms when you're working. If you want to tuck it under the desk, that's no problem. You can have it here, just push it, push it under your seat and that's no problem at all. So on the other side of the adjustments, we have a number of adjustments here. So you've got a tension control, so that will adjust the tension of the recline. So that's quite high at the moment. If I roll back, it's very, more, more, much more lighter and um, a less aggressive uh, push when I reclined. Um, the, the kind of, the latch if they sort of have here is very useful on other chairs. You just have to turn it manually with your hand. It's nice to have it easy to, to operate here. You have a tilt lock as well. So if I, this is just free at the moment, so I can roll back to any point I want. If I push this up here at the back or push it down actually, so push it down, that will lock the seat in place and I can't recline as much. So if you just want to, you know, be sat and just, you know, you like this position at work, you can lock it that. Um, and so, yeah, it's really, it's quite a nice, nice design. And you can lock it sort of, it has a lock right at the back as well. And you can lock it in a number of positions. It's actually any position you want, so you can lock the chair in, which is really nice. And one feature I think I can't recommend enough is the forward tilt feature. A lot of these chairs, the higher end ones, will have a forward tilt. So that enables you to sort of sit more upright. So I'm, I'm sitting fairly upright now, but if I was sort of working on the computer and I wanted to type, didn't want to slouch back for my posture. So you lean back, push this lever here forward, and you see I'm in a more, more upright position here. And so this is good, you know, if you're typing, working from home, really nice. I really like these features. They have it on the Aeron as well. Uh, lots of Herman Miller chairs have it, and it's a really, really nice uh, feature. And you can sort of balance that with the tension. So you adjust the tension to whatever you want, and maybe you, you, you just feel comfortable sitting in kind of this position or this position. So you can you can have that with you. That's no problem. Lumbar support. Um, I would say the lumbar support is a little lacking on this chair. Um, it has one that slides up and down. So whatever position you feel is comfortable for that. And it has sort of these these things you can pull and they push the lumbar support in or out there. And you can get it into quite a comfortable position. Um, it depends how aggressive you want it. So I've got it quite aggressive there, then you know, take it take it off so it's less aggressive. Um, but overall, a really nice, really nice chair. I've tried this chair, I've tried a number of Herman Miller chairs, the, the Aeron, the Mirror, the, um, the Cell, as well as Steelcase chairs, Steelcase Leap, V1 and V2. Um, and some other less less well-known premium office chairs. This is a really nice chair. If you can afford it, don't buy it new. It's a thousand pound new. Um, get it used if you're in America. It might, I'm not sure how much it costs. It'll depend on your local, local sort of sale environment. But these are really, really nice, very well built, very, um, very sturdy. Something to watch out on. You may, if you find one used, you may find that the armrests kind of fall apart. That's a common um, sort of problem with the Hayworth chairs is that the armrests are kind of, they can fall apart. Now, I, I do really like these armrests, the design of them, compared to the Aeron and stuff, they're just miles better. Um, I personally hate the Aeron armrest, you have to like 
pull these latches at the back to adjust them and they can't even you know they don't go inwards or outwards really or, or forward or backwards so these are much more adjustable but if you find yours are damaged you can easily replace them you need a torque screw and on ebay there are some sellers from china that will ship you new armrests these armrests in you about 25 25 pound that i got these for um and just you know make the chair a lot more presentable and nice so overall if you want one of these chairs uh, definitely look at your used market locally they are fantastic really like them they're up there with herman miller and steelcase as a top top quality brand and yeah if you get one of these they should last you 10 years and so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and um yeah take care